This battered and beaten building used to be the home of Judy Douglas. It was around 3 this afternoon when strong winds and thunderstorms turned into something far more dangerous, a tornado. Judy tells me she was sitting right here on this sofa when the storm started. After a couple of minutes, she walked to her kitchen hoping the storm would pass. It never did. She heard some thunder, saw some lightning, and then all of a sudden, her roof was completely torn off. When it hit, man, it was just, it was just like an a earthquake. Everything just came off the wall. Just, just came off the wall. Fred Hayes lives right next door and saw the whole thing. Seconds after the tornado hit, Fred ran into his neighbor's home and pulled Judy out. I'm an ex-firefighter, so I grabbed my gear and got it on and started digging through the rubble. And found her crunched down over in the corner beside the couch, scared half to death. And that's about the extent of it. Pretty lucky? Very lucky. Very lucky. When it was all over, friends and family rushed to Judy's side, helping her salvage some of her most cherished belongings. Other neighbors spent the afternoon looking on in amazement. After all, the tornado could have touched down anywhere. I thank God everybody came out okay. Yeah. And nobody was hurt. I feel like it could have been worse? It could have been. It could have been ours with my kids in here. It could have been somebody else's, you know. Just think it wasn't no worse than it is now. Red Cross officials have provided Judy with a place to sleep tonight, and friends say they will take care of her until she finds a new home. Judy says it was an experience she will never forget. In Foley, Jason Berry, Action News 10.